Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's episode, we're going to talk about unvaccinated people getting reported. Now, I'm doing this video because there was a satire website, and I repeat, I'm going to repeat this again, satire website online uh, talking about reporting people who were unvaccinated. The name of the website was called AURS, Anonymous Unvaccinated Reporting System. So guys, it was pretty much just a spoof on our freedoms being taken away or, or showing where we are headed because of all of these mandates and demands and things that the politicians are making. So the crazy thing was when this first popped up, people were like, oh my God, and people got scared and annoyed. And I looked at it and goes, there's no fucking way this is real. First of all, it was, uh, it was a pretty shitty looking website. That's number one. So that was sort of like the dead giveaway. But it had the legit feel of a personal website, but not a government run website, if that, if that makes any sense. Looking at it, I had originally thought, all right, this is satire, but then started tooling around on it. And I'm like, well, what if this belongs to one person? What if this one guy thinking this is a good idea set this up? So again, guys, just looking at the website and, and, and fucking around on it and calling the number, I'm like, okay, it's a fake. But it led me down the rabbit hole, if you will, of what if this comes to fruition? What if they start looking at the unvaccinated and trying to figure out how to get us vaccinated? Well, one way is imprisonment. Like I said in my last video about a kid who was going to jail. Oh, sorry, getting probation. But to get probation, he had to take the vaccine. So a judge is mandating that this kid takes the, the vaccine to get probation. Guys, criminal or not, that's some straight bullshit. Now, you know me, like, you know, criminals get what they deserve if they're like hardcore criminals or whatever. This kid wasn't a hardcore criminal. Yeah, he was dealing some drugs. Don't know what he was dealing exactly. But the simple fact that they're going to start giving it to prisoners. Well, not that they're going to give it to prisoners. Let me walk that back. That this judge thinks that he can get prisoners to take it to buy them less time is bullshit. It's a fucking another overreach, guys. It's another power overreach by an elite or a power structured guy, which is a judge. Now, guys, let's address the fact that what if this was a lone guy, right? And now we're hypothetically speaking. What if this was a lone guy? What if this guy thought it was a good idea? What if the guy starts his website, this website starts to get in traction? People are actually reporting people, right? And now they're reporting people and they're all looking to win this $2,500 uh, contest that goes along with reporting people. But scratch that. Now, just say people are pulling their money so that they can get the unvaccinated fucking snitched out. Now, on a personal level, if you rat out an unvaccinated person, it doesn't really go anywhere, right? On a, on a, on a personal level, meaning I call the NYPD and I'm like, well, you know, fucking Jamal next door is not vaccinated. The cops are like, I don't give a fuck, right? You call the, I don't know, CDC. They're going to tell you the same thing. We don't give a fuck. That's on him, right? As of now. But guys, ideas like that, like websites like that, give people a bad idea. They always do. They always give people the wrong idea. And this is one of those cases where it could give the wrong person the wrong idea. Now, let's say this comes to fruition. Then what? Then, guys, not that we're screwed, but our backs are going to be against the wall in this one. If they start a system like this, they start reporting us. Now, a lot of you saw my my uh, 100K Hangout live stream, right, where I had multiple guests, and Alaskan Prepper was on the on the uh, panel, if you will. And him and Hutch had gotten to the dialogue of saying, you know, Hutch is from the school of thought of fuck that, let's get him. And Alaskan Prepper is like, but everything is good right now. Not a lot of people are gonna fight. Now, keep in mind, during, I guess, the American Revolution, when that popped off, we fought for way less. Or we started a war for way less, rather, sorry. 
when you're starting to impede the human body, a person's body, guys, you can absolutely incite a fucking war. Because now you're forcing us to get the vaccine. You are forcing us to rat other people out. Not forcing us, but you're letting people get ratted out. You're forcing us to now look over our shoulders because there's someone going to snatch us off the street to get the vaccination. And again, guys, that's just a thought. You know, it's, it's not saying it's going to happen. It's I don't think it's going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if it did, but I don't think it's going to happen because there would be too many repercussions if that was to happen. So, guys, a lot of politicians are feeding into that mindset of the anonymous, unvaccinated reporting system. They're feeding into the mindset, guys, where they're sitting there saying, well, you know what? We have to hit them hard. We have to get these people to the vaccination sites. We can't be the volunteer level is gone. We have to make these people get it. Guys, that's along that lines, right? That's along the lines of talking shit, saying, oh, the, the, the nice guy's phase is over. Really? I don't even think there was ever a nice guy phase, but okay. And this is the kind of rhetoric that we're hearing. We're hearing other rhetoric of how to talk to the unvaccinated. Like we're fucking retarded children in a fucking, in a sane asylum or some shit, where they're like, oh, you got to know how to talk to them because they could be aggressive. So now I'm a fucking lion in the cage. You got to talk to me nicely so I don't, what, snap your neck? I don't get it. But, guys, this kind of talk, this kind of ideology that's spreading like cancer across the world, not just America, the world, this is getting bad. And this satire website led me down this rabbit hole on this video that you guys, that I'm doing right now. Now, guys, again, a reporting system, for this to happen, first of all, for something like this to happen, a reporting system to happen, there needs to be, I'm going to go on a limb and say 80% or 90% of the population vaccinated, and at least 10% of us fighting back. Now, as of today, 50% of America got inoculated, full vaccinations, both, uh, both vaccines, right? Both shots, I'm sorry. And 50%, guys, that means there's another 50% still not willing to get the vaccine or have not gotten the vaccine yet, however you want to look at it. Guys, the wall is closing in on us. That's a fact. But we are going to seem like we're all by ourselves, and we're not. Everyone who is not going to take the shot, hang in there. It's going to be a rough fucking next few months, let alone the next couple of years. We're absolutely going to be looking at some fucked up shit, but this is where we hang tight, and this is where we build community off of one another. Because, guys, we're not going to... We can't go in on, alone on this. We can't be alone on this. It's, it's out. We have to team up and pair up and fight against this. So with that, guys, stay strong. Keep fighting the fight and ignore the bullshit. It's all we can do right now. Um, but unfortunately, probably sooner than later, there's going to be a fight and it's not going to be cool. But again, we have to wait and see how far they're going to push this thing. All right, guys. So anyway, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on all of the scrubs in the description section. All of the stuff in the description section. Sorry. And you can also head over to The Angry Truth channel. Like and subscribe to that channel. That's my political-based channel, if you will. And I will see you in the next video.